All right, you're finally excited and you're jazzed. You're gonna buy that waterfront property. And so you think, Tracy, I wanna move to the beach. Oh wait, maybe the intercoastal. No, no, definitely the beach. Uh, how do you choose? Stay tuned and we're gonna talk about that in this episode of St. Pete Beach, Florida Living. So beginning at the beach, the sand. Who doesn't love sand between your toes when you're at the beach, right? And there's something called grounding or earthing, and it's where your bare feet touch the soil. And there's supposed to be some type of uh, uh, electric energy from the earth that can be absorbed directly into your feet. And that's a healthy thing. Additionally, if you're an exercise buff or you just like to walk or run to maintain a healthy lifestyle walking on the sand it's a little harder than walking on a sidewalk so there's a healthy benefit there additionally the beach is beautiful maybe I should have started with that one so your backyard is basically this long stretch of beach and if you're gonna have friends over or gonna hang out with a group of folks at the beach that's your backyard. You've got room for everybody. Come on over, party up. Uh, however, just something to keep in mind, you're also going to be sharing that backyard with tourists and everyone else in Florida that wants to come to the beach and join in on the fun. So pro con. So additionally, truly there's nowhere else on the planet like Florida's beaches. Here in St. Pete Beach, Madeira Beach, Reddington, Clearwater, all the way up there into even Sarasota. I mean, the beaches here are phenomenal, world-renowned, world right? And so there's no place like it. Beyond the lack of privacy, though, with that shared backyard <laughs> and the sand, I love sand. Expect to see it in your house. If you live at the beach, you're going to be tracking it in. It's going to get inside. And now let's talk about the intercoastal. The intercoastal waterway is gorgeous. You can basically walk to the beach if you live on the peninsula. You're not that far. It's a thin stretch of land. So if you really love the beach, why not walk there at sunset? Uh, but on the intercoastal waterway, you're going to be seeing the sun rises. And even if you're in St. Petersburg on the mainland, it's not that far to come to the beach. So, but the difference is there's a huge cost savings. We talked about that beach having this massive backyard to invite all your friends for the party. I've got room for everybody at the beach, but you're sharing it with tourists. You don't have that at the intercoastal. Your backyard is an expansive water view and uh, Boca Ciega Bay is large enough for all of the boaters. So you're gonna see an occasional one, but you're not gonna share them. They're not gonna park their boat right there and hang out and wave and, and blast their music. At least I hope not. So a little bit of a difference there. Uh, you have all the same activity opportunities, except now you can add boating to that, as well as fishing off your dock and, oh, I don't know, let's throw a crab trap in the water and see what happens. So that's always fun. And I suppose you want to hear about cons to the intercoastal now. Well, let's see. Cons are it's not the beach <laughs> so you might have to walk there if you're on the intercoastal so that's a con another con i'm thinking oh i know you probably really don't want to swim in the intercoastal where you can at the beach if you like to swim in the seawater you probably could i know people have and do but you're not going to catch me in there so there you have it, intercoastal versus beach. Really it comes down to where do you find your zen? What makes you happy? For people like you and me and everyone out there watching St. Pete Beach, Florida Living, we find our peace and serenity here at the water, whether you're on either side of the peninsula. So if you have any questions, if you're ready to live where you love here in St. Pete Beach or any of the surrounding Gulf Coastal communities, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm here for your questions, for your feedback, 
uh, for all your friends and family. So don't hesitate to reach out. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Maybe comment below. I'd be happy to address any questions you have. And of course, if you're in the area, don't hesitate to reach out. I love to show you around. I'm Tracy Ford, Fancy Lady of Real Estate here at the beach. I'll catch you on the next video.